Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, nice to see you all. First things first, get your cup of tea, cup of coffee, drink of wine, whatever you prefer and uh, join me in creating something a little bit different. Well it's something I haven't done for a while which is I'm going to do two pieces today. Um, a flip cup and an open cut pour. Now I have done an open cut pour in a couple of videos back um, and I hadn't done it for a while but I want to go back um, and, and try it again. I'm not going to do any swiping, none of that today. So I'm just going to do a flip cup um, on a small canvas and on a medium canvas do the open cup. So but first things first, here is the dry version from the previous um, video that I did. I've called it Pink Vibes. Um, really pleased with that. Um, and another thing is I've entered it into a competition. So I'm entering my first competition. I must be mad. Um, it was one o'clock in the morning. Um, I saw a competition come up on my Facebook and it's with a company called uh, rapturous.com um, you upload five pieces it can be photography drawings paintings whatever for any level um, and once you've uploaded those pieces they can turn those pieces into um, cushions or prints um, or they can frame it for you for you um, so then it goes on sale um, I have no control over the costs or anything, but um, if anyone does buy anything, um, I'll get a small commission. So it's promotion in a way. Um, the cushion in the Pink Vibes is absolutely wonderful. Might buy one for me. Um, there are other pieces on there that have been in my recent videos as well. Um, yeah, but what you can do, and it doesn't cost anything, if you go on their website, search for Katrina Baldwin under the competition or in their search engine, I don't know if it comes up that way, um, and I'll, I'll put it in the description box below, uh, and just vote. Vote for them all, vote for one, you know, um, the more thumbs up I get, the more chance I have of winning, um, and I think you get... Um, you know, you get exposure and everything, they interview you. So it's a, um, something a bit brave. I'm, I'm quite a nervous person when it comes to things like that. So, um, but yeah, so that's good. My Etsy shop is um, live. I think I've mentioned that in um, previous videos as well, but I have got a opening sale starting on the 30th of June, 25% off all the five pieces that I've got on, on that shop. And I'm only sticking to UK only, so I think it's early days yet. So I'm um, rather than shipping to America or anywhere like that, um, which is going to cost money. Um, so yeah, UK only for the time being. Um, and that sale will last for two weeks. Um, and we'll see how that goes as well. Another thank you as well for all of you that have subscribed. Um, I really appreciate your support. And if you can give a thumbs up as well for any videos of mine that you do watch, um, the more exposure I get on YouTube as well. So help me grow my channel. Um, and we'll, fingers crossed. <laughs> so, um, I don't think there's anything else I need to show you. I did have a little practice last night, swiping. Now that I've got me Australian flow troll, um, nothing. Look at that. I must be mixing up my swiping mixture wrong. So need more research on that, but no big deal. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna take the take you down, and let's hope you can see both pieces. I might have to do a little jiggle around. Now what I'm going to do, so I've layered my paints, I've gone with it some iridescent greens and blues, the um, deep ultramarine blue as well, hoping that will come out. I've splashed a bit of white, titanium white in there and I've got metallic silver, I think it's metallic silver, 
um, so it's blues and greens, silver and a bit of white. Um, I'm going to, I'm not going to do it the messy way, which is the fun way, but I'm going to put the canvas like that on top of the cup and then turn the cup over like that. And then the trick is getting it on the back on my stands without knocking everything flying. But what I'm also going to do, and I'm hoping there's enough paint on there, it is a small canvas, is I'm going to pierce. Do you think I could find a pin or a safety pin or anything? No. So I've got this <laughs> little Christmas tree brooch that I did buy for my late mum. But So I'm going to pierce, if I can, the bottom of the cup. Hopefully that will release the air so I won't get any suction there. So it gives a cleaner lift when I lift the paint, lift the cup off the paint. Um, give it a couple of uh, seconds to for the paint to drain down. Um, I don't think I'm going to put any paint on the canvas there to make the paint flow, but if I do get a bit stuck, I might put a bit of, put of white down. Hoping there's going to be enough paint on there. So once I've lift the cup, I'm then just going to stretch it out. I might wreck it with a palette knife, create some designs, but I'm not swiping. Okay. I'm not sure how this is going to come out. I can see the paint's trying to come out already, so that's good. So the paint's on its way down. Quick glug of me tea. Cross me fingers, cross me toes. And I'm just going to lift it straight up. Woohoo! Look at that. Good, good flow there. Some cells coming up. Like. That's inside the cup. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit dark in here. I don't want to switch the light on. I did that a minute ago and it looked awful. Um, but the sun's moving round, so I'm just going to leave that to. Just going to bring that over that way a bit, seeing as it's all must be a little bit uneven there, and get my torch. I haven't refilled it. That's a point. Too overboard with that. Oh, good cell reaction there. Trouble is, I don't want to lose too much of it when I tilt it off. I'm not going to wreck it actually, I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to tilt, stretch it out. So I'm going to go in circular motion. So try and get to the corners, all four corners, and then, so I don't want to lose too much of that, but obviously some's got to come off, it can't all sit on the canvas. Bring it back. Maybe that way. Back down there. Got all that blue coming out. That ultramarine. Dark ultramarine. Back up and we'll turn it around that way. corner Just tilt that down keep popping up so I'll keep coming back and torching that now 
Now to move the thing over here out of sight. And I'll show it to you in the next video that I upload the results to that. I'm going to leave that mess there. That's not going to cause too much of a problem. So, open cut. Let's get some kitchen roll ready. And it's been sprayed yesterday to stretch it out like a to tighten the canvas. Now, is this the best way or should I do it the other way? What are you seeing? I think I'll leave it like that. I can never get this camera straight, but anyway. So I'm gonna use what have I done with that? Here we go. Where's that cookie cutter gone? I use a cookie cutter. Last time I used a plastic open cup. Um, I'm going to put my black base down, then the cookie cutter on top. I'm going to really layer it this time, so more layers on there so it pushes out. Um, my base is Amsterdam black oxide or oxide black. So I've got plenty of that made up if I need any more. Um, it is a little on the thin side, so but I'm hoping it's going to be okay. So, put me puddle in, just going to start in the middle, plenty of that down. I'm not going to touch it <laughs> and put some more around the edge. And the paints I'm using are some of the paints left over from the previous video, the Pink Vibes. Um, and in fact, the one I just did with the, um, the flip cups, all paints that I needed to use up. So... And this time I'm making sure, because I left it out last time, Amsterdam's Primary Magenta. Forgot it, found it the other side of the room. So I'm going to start with that. No, I'm not. I'm going to start with the other Amsterdam paint, which is the Permanent Red Violet. So lovely. I'm going to start dark and... Keep some back for a second layer, hopefully. And I'm just going to pour in. Really layer the cup. Then, oh, what's this one? This is an iridescent, uh, a teaser or a taser iridescent. I don't know the cut, the name of it. It just comes with a number in that box. Too much of that. That's another iridescent. I think that's a fluorescent one by a teaser. A teaser? A teaser? Um, okay, so that's the paints that I used in the pink vibe. I did have a neon pre mixed one. Let's go in with that. And I've got neon fuchsia. I think 
might just be the end of that. What do you reckon to some gold or copper burnt sienna? Hmm, no, I don't think I'll go that far. Put a little bit of gold in. I can see the paints pushing out here now. I was beginning to wonder. So they are there. Keep layering that up. Oop. Coming to the end of this as well. Just going to dash that in over there like that. And I've got some, did I use that one? No, I left out my Persian rose. Let's go in with that then. And then I've got, this is like a fuchsia colour, and that's by Artistic. And that's a nice purpley pink colour. So, give it a little bit of a torch. I'm going to gently lift this up. Should I put some more black down? And I'm just going to gently lift, lift and release. Put that back down. Again. Come on, colours, push up. <laughs> then I'm going to start layering again because I want all these paints gone. I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong. Who knows? It's just fun trying it. See what we create. I'm not an expert by any means. coming up the top there at last wash those tops out. I, I reuse these cups um, turn that up. I know there's lots of paint on here and a lot of it's gonna be tilted off I have, have thought about um, using the skins for jewellery. I'll show you some. Um, oh, look at it all coming through now. Lovely. And some more. I don't think I'll put any more in. Let's just 
use these ones up in the cup. It's that fluorescent Arteza colour. There. Now the thing is, should I add any... I've added gold, I know. I don't know whether to just put a bit of, bit of white in or should I leave it? I think the white might help it pop a bit. I'm just going to do that. So I don't want it to be too overpowering. Okay. Have a glug of my tea before it goes cold. How's your drink? Well, wow, these are really pushing out now, aren't they? Okay. Okay. Very pink. So here we go, I'm going to tilt it, so a lot of it is going to come off, but we're just, God there's a lot of paint on there, lost my cup, okay right so, look at those cells, back to that edge, bring it back. down towards me, bring it back, over that way, bring it back, Ooh. turn it round, so I'm not, don't look in that bit. <laughs> Shame it's in the middle, so we're going to have difficulty getting that off, but let's tilt down that way. I don't know, it might all come off. Back to me. Back to me this way. Okay. Fingers were stuck then. I'm liking this side, your right, my left, more than this side. So a lot of this has got to come off. So let's bring it all down this side. Say bye bye. Right, round to you. Right, I'm really liking this here and I'm not liking that, so I'm hoping there's enough to stretch that off. At least most of it off. That's looking better. Bye bye. Reminds me of pink blancmange. Go. Ooh. Ooh. Don't worry. Don't panic. Last bit. edge, 
corner. Corners are so difficult. There, I'm leaving it like that. I like that. Where's me? Well, you swore then. I'm really liking that. That's definitely a thumbs up for both of them. What a contrast, blues and greens and then pinks, golds and... I can't see that black, <laughs> but there is black in there. It's turned it sort of like a gray in areas as well. Oh, it's lovely. It reminds me of lava. Okay, I'm gonna take these gloves off before I... Get fingerprints all over the camera. I hope you can see that okay. So like I say, I will put the dried results up in the next video. I've got to sort my edges out. I'm not gonna keep rolling for that. Um, give it one more torch. And I'm really hoping this is gonna come out dried perfectly. No cracking, no splitting, no lumps, no flies. I've had such a problem with flies landing in That is lovely. What a lovely sheen as well. So, okay. So I'll put the uh, put some descriptions in the box below uh, to my Etsy store, um, the competition, um, the website for that. Um, yeah. So if you like what you've seen, I do love this. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Please help my channel grow. Um, the more views and thumbs up, the better. Um, but mainly subscribe if you can. It doesn't cost anything. I really appreciate uh, the support. Um, and I will see you in the next video. If you've got any comments and questions to ask, just put them in the comments below. Um, I do get back. Um, like to hear from you. Um, take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye.